from a lecturer at, at the School of Architecture and Design in Mongol University of Technology, Tonbury. Uh, my, my background is interior design. This is the interior of architecture. People. Uh, I like the food I like in Thailand is already fried food. Something like snack, something you can um, eat along the way, something that you eat in between meals. So I like fibo because it's not the main meal, but you can also consume it as a main meal. But because it has this kind of freedom of choices, like you can choose what you want to eat mm -hmm. with the amount of money you have. And I took students with me and they loved it. So because it needs no communication. Mm -hmm. And you just. The only thing you need to do is just to put money in, exchange for coins, and then you make decisions. I also like slow food, slow. but slow food takes time and consume a lot of energy, even though it's slow. Mm -hmm. You need to have time for that, but I like, it's like space in between, you know? Mm -hmm. Free bowl is like that. Like you drop by for maybe half an hour or less than that because there's no place to sit. Mm -hmm. So you stand, you have craft buildings, and then go for some conversation. It's good for students. Uh -huh. they, like you finish school and then come out and then have a chat over some snacks and then leave. So it's a space in transition, which I find quite interesting. It's not like McDonald's or anything. It's like the old part. <laughs> All the food sells in front of the university, you know, something cheap, something quick that could actually leave a lot of space for conversation mm -hmm. or even in individual consumption like you eat by yourself without feeling lonely and something like that. Yeah. Adapting means something adjustable. Like you adjust yourself with something. So if if to define water what it means to me is that water adaptive city is that the city that can and adapt itself with water. Water is an adjective, which means it's a city as a main, and something needs to be adapted toward that. Like the city would operate as a way to embrace water or cope with the changes that will occur from water. Mm. It's not water adapts itself to us. I think before it's more like we try to get control of water. We build dams, we build walls and water gates just to control, to have control over the water. But there must be a way to let the water be just the way it is, and then the city kind of find a way to adapt with that. I would see institution like school uh, between instructor, a collaboration between instructor the tutor that teaches in the architectural and design school with the students and also we can have some professional something like happen in the workshop but last longer in a period of maybe sixteen weeks or double of that. So one year to develop those kind of projects. Because I, I find to go towards the practice yeah, I think it runs to the risk of the government policy and everything. But with the education I think there's a tool with the education that could do a lot more with the studies and much more in-depth collaboration between different disciplines. Actually, I have a very fond relation with water, with river and floor. You know, it's always been part of my life since I studied in Nahomatom and also from here to the Bakon, traveling, living in Saling Chan, using long tail boats about crossing boats and I find water is a very essential part of our life. But uh, on Saturday I took the boat trip uh, just for the sake of getting photos for the article I'm writing and I find, I think we are turning back on water. Yeah, because along the canal then you see normally people would enjoy being with water, right? swimming, of course there's still kids swimming washing their clothes and then sitting by the river side or the canal side, long side. But now they fence off. You know, the front of that building of the houses become the back 
it's almost like I'm, I'm writing on a board, try to talk to someone, but nobody's talking to me. Uh -huh. yeah, so it's, it's like that, like people turning back on water because the water is dirty. But I think for us, why water is dirty is because of us, isn't it? Like we kind of polluted them, the water. So many things we consume and then waste it out and then put in water. So for my part, I think it's not individually like how you be careful of how you consume water from home in the domestic use and garbage. I <laughs> take care of my own waste, yeah, sorting out garbage. Which I think for the dust system, they already have that. You know, sorting the garbage and like recycle material, separate plastic and glass. And for us, it's so messy. You know, we never do it seriously. It's really obscure. Yeah. Um, even if we uh, separate, the separate. it will yes. go back in the same, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I try in different ways because see, when I separate papers and and kind of different kind of waste, and I don't put it in the garbage bin. I give it to the people who actually take care of those for money. I say I give it to the housekeeper in the condo mm -hmm. to make sure that she has it. Not that because I put it in the bin and then everyone will put because there's a bin saying recycle waste. But there's anything, food, can anything be <laughs> they just put everything in there. They don't care of the creation of those kind of things. So I, I find if we start individually then it's, it's I can't do something big. I'm not an urban planner, right? <laughs> so I start with my own family, with my own people. We separate garbage and waste at home. We become really careful of using water. Um, because it's already in condominium, you are controlled by the price of water. It's more expensive than a normal household, mm -hmm. isn't it? Because you pay for intake and you pay for out, out waste water also mm -hmm. double. But at home, the price at home, my home in the Hamatome is, I think, one third. But we still be very careful of how to use it. We collect rainwater to be able to use it uh, several times. When I wash, let's say, vegetables, I reuse the water mm -hmm. or something else. So that is a kind of a normal, let's say, individual contribution to water. Hopefully, you know, one day then the water will become cleaner.